bass fishing is just good almost all the time on central Minnesota lakes. One of my favorite techniques for fishing for bass and searching for bass is to use something called a jig worm. A jig worm is just a, a small jig, usually an eighth to three eighths, maybe a quarter ounce jig head. And on this jig, I'll attach a four inch, six inch plastic bait of some type. You can see that little barb. That barb uh, really holds the jig on there. I use a lot of power bait for this because I like the scent. Other ones work, but there's something about the scent. If it smells like food, fish seem to bite it a little bit better. Bring the hook through like that, and then I'll push it up onto that bait keeper. So now it'll hang straight. This one I'm going to actually screw on. Right on that tip right there. And then I'm going to bring the hook. Let's see what I have. I'm going to bring the hook part way through the plastic. And when you set the hook, it'll drive that hook the rest of the way through. This is the bottom. This is where the weeds are starting to grow, right here at 15 feet. So I like to focus on that edge right there, and there's a fish right up there. I like to focus on this edge and cast up here and pull it down to where the edge of the weed line is. Once they have the weed edge identified, I just make a cast out and let that jig worm sink. Even with the exposed hook, you can come through just an awful lot of weeds. If you do feel weeds, you just kind of pop through them and keep working it back to the boat. Well, the jig worm came through. Small fish, but still a fish, a little northern. A grower. The jig worm and plastic is darn good bait. I'm Jerry Carlson. This is your Town Square Media Tip of the Week.